guys, my name is Fire This Vague Wired, another video rundown in review for you today. We'll be taking a look at the Hell Beast by Hell Vape and Beyond Vape. <laughs> Beast by Beyond Vape and Hell Vape is a sub ohm tank, of course. Don't really use sub ohm tanks too much, but I really, really like the way this one looks. It's got some surprises going on too, but we're going to show everything that it comes with down below. Here we go. All right, so we are down below with the Hell Beast by Hell Vape and Beyond Vape. This is the package and it will come in. On the top, you have a collaboration between Beyond Vape and Hell Vape. Hell Beast hybrid tank sub ohm slash MTL mouth to lung on the side you have beyond vape on the other side you have hell vape on the back you have hell beast with like a little uh, i guess it's like a scan or qr code that they use to package and then there's the back there's your color that you get in so it's a full black rendition on the back there's all your specifications if you guys want to pause that and read it you guys can see that it takes smart babies coils and actually changes the capacity of liquid when you do that really really cool this is the tank and everything that comes with it of course you're going to get the sub on tank Cut the line so you guys can see the logo. There you go. See Hell Beast right there on the side. You see this AFC system is really, really nice. It's got something really cool going on with it. It's very smooth. But you see how you start to close it off? Now these other holes are going to be for your mouth to lung vaping. And we're going to show you guys how to install that Nautilus core. I don't have a knowledge core with me, but we will show you guys how to install the adapter piece for it. Uh, on the top, you have a 810 goon style drip tip, so you can use any of your a uh, little bit of stuff on the inside right there. I don't know if that's uh, what is that? I don't know what that was, but it's definitely gone now. Huh. Anyway, uh, but yeah, you can use any of your um, 810 drip tips on the top. It has the O-rings on the inside, so they just plug in for all your custom drip tips, which is always nice to fill it up. You just slide this little piece back. We've seen it done, but really, really nice little feature to fill it. And there you go. So let's get to the bags that you get. You get a spare sub on core. You get a spare glass that is non-bubble. And then you also get a bag of O-rings, and then there is your Nautilus adapter, and then your 510 mouth-to-lung drip tip, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and prime this coil up, get it running though. Alright, so here's your um, O-rings, or this is your core for replacement core for the uh, sub-on tank. Now you can use any smart core that's a Baby Beast style. The Vapor SO NRGs fit as well, and I believe the Elise that'll like the Baby Beast will fit too. But there's your mesh H1.2 resistance, Hell Vape on the top. And then 30 to 90, best between 60 to 80 watts. So really good watch capacity. And there's that mesh coil, mesh strip in there. Really, really nice. Very, very, very nice mesh coil. All right. And there's just basically a glass replacement in case you were to break that. Now let's get into the mouth to lung stuff. So this is going to be your 510 to an 810 drip tip adapter. So basically what you want to do is take this off from the top and then you will plug in the 510 style mouth to lung drip tip on the top and you can use that as is with the sub ohm configuration if you really don't like a wide bore drip tip like the 810 but this is mainly for use on the mouth to lung setup so really 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 nice and then in the bag you also get 
the little adapter. I don't want to really get it out without spilling all those O-rings everywhere. But that is for your Nautilus coils, basically to turn into a mouth to lung vape for high or nicotine or if you do not want a lot of airflow. That's mouth to lung setup for the Hell Beast. Let's go ahead and put this back together. And then let's take this part off right here. I didn't actually realize it did that. So with this, you have a 510 adapter and then this piece can actually come off. So if you have any other 510 drip tips, you can always put them on here, which is really, really nice. I did not realize it did that. I thought this was all one piece until I took it off and that piece was left behind. Really, really nice. Anyway, that's about it for the tank. Let's bring it out and have a sit down on the Hell Beast by Hell Vape and Beyond Vape. Uh, so let's have a sit down on the Hell Beast by Hell Vape and Beyond Vape. Look, I say it all the time in this industry, in, in this in vaping industry. Versatility is key to a successful product. And Hell Vape definitely did not let anyone down when it comes to the versatility that this product offers. You can use so many other coils in this tank besides what is included, which is really, really nice. It's one thing when a company makes a tank and they say, here, here you go, it's a really good sub-on tank, but hey, only use our coils with it, even though they may look the same as all the other ones on the market. Hell Vape did it completely different. They said, hey, you guys want to use smart coils? Go ahead. You guys want to use NRG coils from Vaporware? So go ahead. You guys want to do a mouth-to-lung configuration and use Nautilus coils with it? Go ahead. Really, really nice. I like that a lot. I commend Hell Vape and Beyond Vape for com combining their minds and putting this really nice sub on tank together. We got sitting on top of the detonator, 120 watt by Squid Industries. They've been on a little bit of that Alt Zero 2, which is a pink lemonade. Really nice flavor. Really good, really good flavor off of this coil head. Let's have a, a vape show you guys what she does. Yeah, really, really smooth. Um, 80 watts is what I'm running it at, so the most that wattage goes to on that coil head. Uh, let's go and cut her down a little bit to about uh, 70. Uh, let's do a little bit lower than that. Let's do, uh, let's do 65 watts. 65 watts, a little bit half um, of what the uh, lowest setting for that coil head is. Yeah, all around really, really good sub on tank. Uh, the Nautilus coil. So let me explain to you basically what the mouth to lung vaping option for this tank is. So I really wouldn't really suggest you to put salt nick in this device uh, for the simple reason is the Nautilus. I don't really know how it would do lifespan wise with the salt nick. I mean, you could do it absolutely, but I don't think you would get a lot of lifespan out of your coil for that. Um, I would be using like the high oil concentrates of nicotine, like maybe your stem nicotines or your free base nicotines, maybe like a 12 or 18, and then put that mouth to lung um, coil in there for the Nautilus and then put the drip tip on the top with the 510. Only on a low wattage vape on that product. I mean, you can vape it on a little bit higher wattage if you're used to high oil nicotines, but it's really nice to see that because a lot of sub on tanks on the market now are on these 810 wide bore drip tips. Not everybody likes all that airflow and all that crazy nonsense of clouds they want to just have that really nice flavor really nice throat hit so really nice that hell vape and beyond vape combined and made that mouth to lung option for this tank as I said well the thing that really gets me about this tank that I really really like about it it's not even the aesthetics of it alone it's just the again the versatility 810 drip tips up on the top I can use any of my custom goon style drip tips that I have sitting at home I vape on RDAs, RTAs, and RDTAs most of the time. I don't really use sub-on tanks. Very, very rarely do I use a sub-on tank. But it's really nice to know that this sub-on tank, I can support my custom drip tips on the top, which is really, really cool because i got a lot of devices I could throw this on. Black's a really good color to match up with just about anything. But, um, yeah, man, this tank is really good. It's a little bit of an older product. I didn't want to put it, you know, out there or just kind of say, like, oh, I don't want to do a review. It's been out for a while. But, honestly, man, I got hold of this tank, and I could not put it down. It's a really, really nice sub-on tank. So if you guys see them about, I'm pretty sure they're in a bunch of shops everywhere. Go check it out and definitely give this thing a chance because it's a really nice sub-ohm tank. My name is 596 Vapor, and I'm out.